Hello and welcome back to Q3 Academy Tipton. These last few months have been strange for all of us and as you know we need to take extra precautions when you do return back to school to make sure both you are safe and that we are safe as a teaching body. To this end this little video is just telling you some of the things we have put in place to make sure you stay safe and we stay safe as you come into school to return your work and meet your teacher. If there are any further questions at the end of this video, please feel free to email in hello at q3tipton.org.uk. This video will show you what's expected of you as you arrive onto the academy and where you will go during the time you are here at the academy. Once this video is over, please ensure you stay safe, you complete your work and if you have any further questions you are emailing your teachers and if you do need any further help please feel free to contact us at the Academy at the email address previous. So let's start. If you feel unwell at all on the day that you are due to come to school, please stay at home. We'd rather not risk your health or anybody's health on site here. If you feel any illness, please stay at home. We will understand if you could just let the school know or send us an email and we can action that and rearrange your appointments. When you do arrive on school site through the school gate, you will make your way through reception. It's the only change from the normal school day. As you come through, you will go into reception here and make your way round to the toilet where you will be asked, or you should be, washing your hands. As you enter through reception, the toilet where you will first wash your hands on site is just to the right. When you come in, please make sure you turn the tap fully on and wet your hands completely. Turn the tap off with your elbow and take two squirts of the soap. Rub it across your palms first, across your thumb, both thumbs, sorry. Okay, making sure you get the crease of the thumb. Then making sure you are rubbing the back of your hands thoroughly by interlocking them and getting in between of the cracks and the folds just by the knuckles in your hand. Also, close your hand and rotate the fingertips on your palm. This will make sure any loose bacteria or if there is anything on your fingertips is also removed. Now you do this for 20 seconds. Okay, the way I do it, I sing happy birthday twice, quietly, or you can probably use a stopwatch or some methodology of keeping time. When you have done this for 20 seconds, turn the tap back on with your elbow, okay, and rinse thoroughly. Making sure you take the same motion that where you applied the soap to actually remove the soap from your hand as well. Once you have finished, use your elbow again to turn the tap off. Shake off the water and dry your hands. Once you've washed your hands, make your way through the double doors round towards science rooms 102 or 103 for you to continue your meeting with your tutor. The door will be held open for you, again, reducing the interactions you have with other surfaces. Once you've made your way through the double doors, make your way down the science corridor. That's to the left, just as you enter the building. The science doors that lead you to 102 and 103 will be held open for you. Again, reducing the need for you to make contact with any further surfaces. When you arrive at the academy to either 103 or 102, the doors will be held open for you where you can enter and meet your tutor. I am not going into 102 or 103 as they have just been deep cleaned and I don't wish to contaminate the site further. These will remain closed and the cleaners will check them to make sure they are clean for you to use when you arrive on the site. If you do need to use the toilet or wash your hands further, about two or three steps or about six foot away from 102, you will see the toilets that you are allowed to use whilst you are on the academy. The taps utilise the elbow again, where you can push down to allow the water to come out and the hand dryer is located within the toilet as well. 
I've used room 302 as an example of what you will do and the actions you will take when you do arrive at either 102 or 103 downstairs. This room is about to be deep cleaned, so I've just asked the cleaners if we could very quickly shoot this instruction. When you come to school with your work, you will enter the room where the door will be held open for you, 102 or 103. You will place all of your work into the tub at the front. This will be placed very close to the door so you know exactly where the work needs to go. Your tutor will be waiting for you approximately two desks apart. Now two desks is actually longer than the recommended government suggestion of two metres. But we've done that to ensure extra safety. These desks will have sanitizers on there and these desks will be cleaned down between each visit. If you are in rows downstairs, you will find that your tutor is at one corner and you'll be placed in the other corner of the row. The conversation you will have will revolve around you, just making sure you're happy with where you are with your work and any questions that you may wish to pass on to other teachers. Once you've done that, we ask that you collect your work and like I said, if you are, when we are downstairs, you can wash your hands on the way out and then make your way back out of the building and make your way home. As you leave 102 or 103, please make your way off site straight away via student services and straight out to the building. To ensure you maintain, at the very least, a two metre or six foot distance, that is roughly from the door to the fire extinguisher. You must make sure you uphold this rule while you're on school site. Do not organise meetings with your friends or trying to time it where you will all congregate together. That will not be allowed while you're on school site. Everybody will be at the very least six foot apart. You are not encouraged and you are not to hug each other or hold each other or try and elicit any interaction with each other. You must make sure we uphold the social distancing rules of six foot apart. So once you have finished at 102 or 103, you make your way straight out of the building. As you exit the science corridor, continue to make your way straight across to student services. As you exit the building, make your way straight out and make your way straight to the side entrance gate and out of the main gate to allow you to go home. Make sure you go home safely, wash your hands, stay safe and most of all look after yourselves. If you have any questions or any problems, please continue to email your teachers and continue to work on class charts and Google Classroom.